I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. Yo, what's going on, boys and girls? It's Chicago Pinball Expo weekend, and I'm watching a little bit of Fox City's pinball streaming action of the main tournament right now while working on Star Trek. Okay, so I just got down here, got all set up with the laptop, and I was advised to take a look at the diode on the right flipper that was sticking up every time I walked by it and accidentally pressed the button, and look what I found. I kind of tugged on it and boom. I think we have solved that problem thanks to uh, those on Pinball Repair Help Group that uh, mentioned that. Oh. Eric Thorne mentioned that, who is the um, owner of District 82, so thanks, Eric. Uh, Natavan, um, I think her last name's Reed. She's a wealth of knowledge, and she also said something about that as well. So, boom, everybody there was right. I think someone else or a couple other people commented, Jerry, the owner of the group. So thanks, guys. Uh, simple little diode fix. Okay, so... I'm going to change that out, and then I'm going to connect the ramp. Then I'm going to put the rest of the play field back together again, and, well, I've only got an hour, and then i got to go do stuff. But I can always come back, but let's see how far we can get. All right, back in switch test, and this time, whoopsie, the ramp is connected. So let's see what we get. That's supposed to go that way, though. Cool. Oh, that's, that's also cool. So we know that switch works, that switch works, the diverter works. Let's try all three again. Oh, okay. We're going to have to make a slight little adjustment there. It don't like, it don't like it. All right, so throw that on the old list. Well, and that doesn't make it on the list. Okay, so we got another ramp switch here we have to test. Mm, that sounded like it went off twice. It went boom, boom, boom. This should only be one. So it might have went one on the upswing and one on the downswing. Let's try that again. Yeah. So that went off twice. So that switch might be adjusted a little too close. Yeah. Diverter's working great though. Look at that. It's awesome. Okay, so the right ramp switch just needs a little tweakage. I'll figure that out. I think it's registering on the up. Yeah, see that? Just triggering twice, and we don't want that. Let's turn off my flashlight. Uh, okay, so. What is, is this wire getting pinched? No, that's fine. Um, but, just throwing the ball up the ramp feels so smooth. Yeah, that's friggin' awesome. Okay, all right, I'm gonna fix that switch, and then that means I can put the rest of the play field back on because I know everything is working. Oh, and then adjust this. Actually, looking at it, you can see this wire guide here is in the way of the hole. So I just got to move the whole thing over left, which is easy, breezy, but yeah, that's my problem. Okay, so that's all happy now. Oh, son of a... I lost my ball. Anyway, that's good, but I've adjusted this switch 12 times all up 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 down 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 i there's nothing i can do to make it not register twice i don't know why yet but it's just such a springy of a gate that it just i don't know i'm i'm giving up on that for now and i'm going to try and figure that one out later because i've tried a million friggin adjustments and i give okay so now what i just realized i want to move on to is rope light test i turned the machine on so quick and went into diagnostics so quick that i didn't even notice if they came on so all the connectors are good 
let's try this out and cross our fingers. I don't know, for whatever reason, all these rope lights on Hook and Star Trek. Come on. Lamps. They just die. Why do they die? Such a simple thing. It's just lights in a rope. Row lamps. Column lamps. Oh, wait, you can't see that. Here we go. Lamp test. Cycling flashers. It's coming up. Coils. No, don't do that. Running lights. Okay, I gotta hit start. Come on, baby. Oh, there's no light on the start button. Did I not think I had that on my list? I'm putting that on the list. Suspense is building. See this stupid guardian ramp? That's on the list. Can't figure that out just yet. Start. Light. We need to fix that. Okay. Come on, running lights. Please run. Three, two, one. <gasps> yeah, they work. Sweet. That is so sweet. I do. Do I see one bulb out? I think I might think that maybe in between those two might be a bulb. Maybe not. Maybe not. It's very subtle because everything's all LED'd. But that's friggin' awesome. I'm so stoked. The running lights work. Cool. Display works. Running lights work. Like, if it only were for this not to have been the case but oh well that's freaking awesome it's never easy to film a mirror but this is the nastiness that that is yeah sorry you can hear my uh pinball expo streaming action in the background but uh i've been trying to mute in between but i keep forgetting but yep that's pretty nasty all right let's see if i can show off this mirror Looks a little better now, eh? It's not perfect, but... Yeah, alright, time to install that bad boy. Alright, check this out. The table is empty. I can do away with this table now. I do not need that anymore. So, let's take a look. I got it in lamp test. So we can see all the pretty lights. Uh... Seems like if I go slow, it doesn't look like it's flickering, but there we go. Dilithium crystals. See, if I stop the camera, it looks normal. But if I move just a little bit, they start looking like they're flickering. Hmm, interesting. Camera technologies. So that bulb wasn't working when I plugged it in. Just needed a little tweak. Okay, so then we got our transporter ramp. Oh! I pressed the flipper button. Good thing that one doesn't stick up. Uh, so that's cool. Then we got the ramp. Oh yeah, see, check out the mirror. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And all the lights are working. So yeah, it's coming together. Alright, so I think I'll put the table away. Then I'm going to fix this flipper diode. And then maybe I'll change the brackets for the slingshots because I don't think that'll take a whole lot probably just a few screws really just don't even need to desolder the coils right so and then I'll deal with the flipper rebuild later thought I would change this bulb in this start button these things are always such a pain in the ass to remove this one was actually not a problem <clears throat> probably it's been messed with enough times with the modification, but this one is being a pain in the ass. So I thought I'd remove this to give me a little bit of more leverage. And I don't know if I caused this to happen or if that was already there, but you can see that solder is no good. So. If I just solder that on and the incandescent bulb in there works, I'm just leaving it. Because changing these to LEDs doesn't always work because the LEDs have got a bit of a longer profile and it always interferes unless you have the special LEDs that are a little smaller. So I'm going to solder that on. 
won't you? We could do it probably right now, live. And if that gets the incandescent bulb to work, then that is going to be fine by me. Ouch. Okay, that didn't actually hurt. It just kind of scared me more than anything else. I just elbowed the reset uh, arm for the drop target bank. All right, let's turn this on and see if we've got light. Uh, no, we do not. Unless we need a second. Ah, crap. So I have to try and wrench that thing out because I know we've got a crap load of credits, I believe. Yeah. All right, I'm going to have to try and crank this thing out without breaking it. Yay. Well, I managed to pop it out without breaking anything that I am aware of anyway. So, put in a new bulb. Here. There we go. That's better. Now, let's hope it goes back in without any issue. Mm, I need two hands for that, but... First time seeing the start button lit up. Alright, started to work on the new slingshot bracket so there's the new one here's the old one as you can see it's missing the whole coil stop portion of it I had to cut off all this tape that was wrapped around it and the coil and the coil didn't even have a sleeve in it uh, that comes to think of it I found a sleeve in the bottom of the cabinet yesterday I guess that's what that was for there's the switches, and as I mentioned in a previous video, this guy is a little bit bent. There. So I'll straighten him out, clean up all the existing parts, and should be like new. Okay, I'm uh, getting closer on installing this. I noticed one difference here that I thought I would share for fun. See this new bracket? It's got a bit of an arched back here. The original one is old flat back. I'm not sure why that is, but it was starting to concern me that the bracket wasn't going to work and that was going to really suck. But, there we go. Looks like it'll work. So, Happy dance time. All right, and just got to screw on the switches and rinse and repeat on the other side because this bracket, I don't know if I was cracking or the guy just thought, oh, it broke on the one side. Maybe I'll be proactive and beef up the other side. Hey, look who showed up. Come to uh, claim a beer. Ugh. And I might get him to be the guinea pig of the very first game of Star Trek but okay so a couple things about these brackets there's the old shitty ones um, turns out that the c-clip does not fit so I had to find smaller c-clips to uh, clamp onto that little bad boy there so that's one little minor annoyance but yeah, I got it on there it's good to go oh and check out these these are my new uh, sleeves I got thanks Robin Wall for ordering these from pinball resource was it pinball resource? I think it was. But they're like clear. First kind of clear, translucent uh, coil sleeves I ever did see. But they're pretty cool. Check this out. There's the new slingshot brackets installed and good to go. Now what we're going to do is test those bad boys out. I put on a new diode on the flipper coil. We're going to test that, see if that sticks. Adjust the slingshots, make sure they're uh, not too close or too far apart. And then, Jay is going to be the guinea pig and try the very first game. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. We are in diagnostics. Oh, guess what, Jay? My rope lights actually work, so that was pretty sweet. I just ran that test recently. Okay, so, left flipper. That always worked. Right flipper, here we go. Does it stick? Please don't stick. Yay, we fixed it. That's freaking awesome. Okay, now, uh, are the slingshots live right now? No, I didn't think so. We got to go into solenoid test. Display. Switch. Test. Lamps. Row. Column. Lamp. 
flashers. Here we go, testing coils. I guess we can just... That's so slow and painful. <laughs> Cut a... Oh, okay. All right. We're gonna pay attention to these slingshots and see if they fire. I mean, I think they're gonna fire, I just wanna make sure they're not gonna like machine gun on us. Ooh, knocker works mm -hmm. loud and clearly. Free game. All right, here we go, here we go. Nope, GI. What else? You, oh, motor at the back, I heard. I'm not looking at the display. I'm staring at these slings. Oh, moving target. Uh, oh, yep, pop bumpers. Oh, is that another pop? Hey, there's a sling. Yay. Hey, there's a sling. Okay, so I think we're ready. Um, one moment. Jay's got my balls. All right, so here it is. We put in the translate, put on the lock bar, close the coin door, remove the soldering iron from inside. This is it, boys and girls, the very first attempt at playing a game on Star Trek. All right, insert three balls, sir. Take just to check it out a quick little pan over the action things are looking pretty and uh, I like how the translate turned out after I stuck it on there um, yeah so all right wait 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 I gotta back up I gotta back up and gotta make sure I got a good view all right let's see what happens oh okay wait first thing you got to do this is because a stupid mod this used to be an auto launch you have to do that before you do that, or else you'll confuse the game. Ah. All right, there. You missed your skill shot. But oh. now you got to play. Don't plunge too hard because it's got a super effing tight spring on there, and it likes to break shit. All right, let's see what happens. Hey, first ramp shot. Oh, orbit action. This is looking really good on camera. Oh, is that gonna work? Oh Ooh, my god, that was the best J save I think I may have ever seen live on film. Oh, I should get the uh, DMD in there. Oh, I wonder, yeah, I forget. Oh, you gotta collect all your dilithium crystals and then the lock is ready on the left ramp, I believe. So it looks like you need seven you have to five. push that every time or no? Yeah, you have to push that or else it'll just be stuck oh, in uh, and then you miss your fucking skill shot well you can you can still get your skill shot oh. you just got to time it right how do you do this you can plunge shot? a little harder there you go get some rollover lanes oh you got a rollover dark okay you got the 2x oh the the uh primary crystal on the play field number four is Ooh. yellow right now oh i didn't see that fast ah, there staring at the crystals yeah. that's on video <laughs> oh cool all right, let's see if you can time your skill shot this time. There you go, three yeah. mil ski. That's like your I whole score. Now. I get it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You're in training. You haven't played this in a while. I think it was the last time I had this was in the living room. Hmm. Oh, that left scoop with the white light spot you crystal or you just need number eight top right drop target I see it yeah that should no! <laughs> that, a, I did adjust the angle that it fires uh, out so was it coming right down the middle I didn't uh, really notice maybe got the tip okay Ugh. well let's check out the uh, match sequence I think wasn't there a cool match sequence? Yeah, cool. I remember this. Cool. Well, look at that. The first game was a success. And cue the music. End of game music. Live long and proper. It always sounds like proper, right? There's the end of game music. Cool. Something like that. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, there, now you're uh, official Trekkie. All right, <laughs> good action. Uh. Yeah, Raymond Davidson is up on Iron Maiden against Tim McCool. Uh, it's been uh, cool to 
have this on while messing around with Star Trek, but uh, okay, so Jay's left, and uh, since he has left, I just did a few things. I installed a lock, uh, leveled the machine, mm, cleaned the translate a little better, pitched up the back of the machine a little higher. Uh, what else did I do? Lock is off the list, level it. Vacuum the inside of the cab is on the list. Adjust the kick out. Oh, I gotta check the tilt. Tilt. And oh, I crossed off rope light wiring. Tighten left center plastic hardware after installing the ramp. Oh yeah, I did that. I didn't want it to secure all that hardware before installing the ramp just in case I needed to undo it all. Start light is out. Uh, so, getting close, I mean, sort of, I still got to rebuild the flippers, I got to probably check the adjustment on the slingshots every time you, well, actually, no, they should be, in theory, the exact same, usually when you change the rubbers, that can change the, uh, the tension of the rubber can change the gap of the slingshot switch, so, typically, when I mess with slingshots, I'm like, oh, I have to readjust them, but, just removing them from the bracket and adding them to a new bracket really shouldn't have changed my adjustment at all. So maybe I don't need to worry about adjusting the slings, but I'll keep an eye on that. So obviously I want to rebuild the drop targets too, or just at least clean them up, take them apart and degunkify them. Oh yeah, that's next. These two switches. Uh, that's a fairly simple task. I might tackle that. Ah, put the game on free play. That's another thing. But, we are getting darn near the finish line, which is pretty sweet. I'm going to wrap it up for tonight, though. Maybe I'll do some play testing. But, as for this video, that is a pretty good dent in the overall project, I would say. So, look at that. Isn't that looking pretty? I mean, I am thoroughly impressed with myself. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Bonus footage. We got Jeff Teolis, Levy Naaman, Tim Sexton doing some commentation on the intermission here. Been uh, watching this action. Let's uh, put that on mute. So I've been trying to um, knock a few more things off the to-do list. I vacuumed up the cabinet. It's looking better. I uh, installed my coin backs. And I adjusted the tilt bub. Uh, I just had to move this screw over because I wanted to center this ring and I couldn't move, push it any way left because the screw was all the way over there. So I just um, put a new hole in the cabinet there to line up the tilt bob nice and in the center. Oh, you know what? That seems a little bit loose. Let's uh, crank that up just a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, I guess I didn't retighten that one, just this one. I've got to make sure that connection is nice and solid. So, tilt bob is happy. And, um, did I do anything else? Do, do, do. Oh, I set it to free play. Uh, I've done that. So, you know, the drop targets are working and the pop bumpers are working. So, I think I'm going to leave them for now and focus on the most important thing, which is the flippers. That way, if I do have anybody over tomorrow, we can play this game without these crappy old flippers and at least everything else will work and I can uh, deal with the drop targets and slingshots next week. So yeah, I am going to do some flipper rebuilding now, I believe. Yeah, that's the plan. All right, I was kind of procrastinating doing this since I already removed this kind of I don't know, could even be custom C-clip, which is a nightmare, to rebuild the shooter mech. Here's the spring that was in there. It is super heavy gauge. Here's the spring I'm going to put in. I had to pry this off again. It's not easy, and I'm going to, should be able to put it back together again one more time before uh, it breaks. So that is what I'm going to do now. And uh, there should be less smashing of things with this lighter shooter spring.
Some good action here, Kaylee George and David Riel on Mandalorian. And uh, yes, definitely some good action here. 800 million for Kaylee, and I think this is ball three for David Riel, so he's got a little bit of work, but uh, he's in a multi ball here, and uh, we'll see what happens. Cool, anyway, check this out. I check this out, got rid of those incorrect switches. Um, A, I didn't like them because they were incorrect, and B, they are not. Um, symmetrical as in their different colors and see the red one is a little bit cracked which is not a big deal but I believe from the photos that white skinnies are what is original and there we go those are now installed and soldered up oh and we're in switch test so check it out boom and Boom. All right, I'm on a bit of a roll, I guess. Uh, still plugging away, working on some flipper rebuildage. I don't know how much more gas I have in the tank, but here's the old parts. Williams flipper bat. Pretty nasty looking uh, Paul and crank here. Actually, that it's not even all that worn, really. The tip there. Uh, the coil stops. Not the best. The sleeve is crusty and been lubed. Spring's fine. And the screws are both missing their little um, lock washers, which I have extra, so I will add. And the little spring washer there. So, time to bust out the flipper rebuild action. I may or may not need the whole kit. We'll see. I may be able to get away with these guys, these guys, and some new sleeves, and maybe be able to reuse the old springs if not. I don't want to steal just two springs from a set, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, oh, and of course, yeah, new Data East flipper bat. All right.